Hi, Stitch Roadies. <laughs> How are you all doing? I am doing great. I have had a spectacular day. Um, I didn't know it was going to be as spectacular as it was, but it ended up being a spectacular day. It's pouring rain. We're not complaining because so many states are praying for water and have their governments have um, implemented um, water rationing. You know, it's kind of interesting because in Bend, Oregon, uh, back in the day anyway, you could only water your yard on odd or even days depending on your address. And um, that was just a given. And you could only water between like 6 and 8 in the morning and like 6 and 8 in the evening. Uh, there was no like midday watering and there was uh, no car washing in your driveway because it was high desert. It made sense. It totally made sense. And they were so far ahead of the game. Um, I'm not sure right now they they still implement that watering uh, restriction, but they should. Um, so we aren't complaining about the rain, but it has been... Uh, yesterday was a gorgeous day, and now we have seven days of rain. So when G offered to uh, take me to Acorns and Threads so I could pick up my mail and do a little bit of retail therapy, um, I was all about it. I was all about it. Um, I know I had had mail waiting there, and I uh, needed to pick that up, and and I just felt like I needed to start something new. And just to let you know that at the end of this little chit chat will be um, some shots of the shop. Yeah, some wonderful shops. Uh, shots of the shop. Can I say that five times really fast? Shot. Shots of the shop. Shots of the shop. Oh, man. Anyway, it's very busy there. Lots of activity. Um, news coming down the pike from Janine. It's um, exciting. Uh, I just, you know, and I cannot say enough uh, about Janine because for me, um, I know there might be some of you who think I'm like a cross-stitch savant. Did I hear laughter? <laughs> Did I hear laughter? I am not. And it's a comfort to me that when I go in to the shop, I can have any question answered by Janine, and she will not fall down on the floor laughing out loud. Yeah, she will, you know, she'll just help me. And so there were a couple of things that I wanted to do, and um, she helped me with those, and I'll, I'll share that with a minute. But first, the stitchy kindness that was waiting there was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, it was unbelievable. I got my, I, I know I'm not going to say this right, Wagga Wagga, my Wagga Wagga hat. This is from a friend down under. And since it was pouring rain, I put a hat on. Uh, as we were driving over to Acorns and Threads, we were also, uh, G and I were also going to make a stop at his wood crafting uh, store and um, also go to H Mart because, you know. And I picked up, I'm so excited about this. Look at this little guy. This is a Korean pumpkin. And um, a Korean pumpkin just tastes so good. It tastes so good. And so I'm hoping that when I plant it in my garden, I can get get some pumpkin. I was kind of excited. G was laughing at me when I just picked up the one plant. But, um, yeah, I told him uh, that... Uh, I couldn't wait to get back to the beehive 
and his working his, his workshop is down below in the garage area uh, one of the garage bays it, it holds the back end of the garage holds his workshop and he says so when i said i can't wait to get back home to the beehive he goes i can't wait to get back home to the beaver hive <laughs> and i burst out laughing i said you mean beaver den and he said no I want to I want to be like you. I want to have a hive. So it's a beaver hive. <laughs> that guy I I swear all these years later he can still make me laugh out loud. So where was I? Oh, so we stopped at um, Acorns and Threads and when I picked up my mail, you cannot believe this. Um this is unbelievable. So let me just let me just kind of go through all of these. Um, let's see, where did I put everything? Oh, I left my my little card here. This is a long, this is a, a fellow quilt roadie, stitch roadie, um, I, I can't even begin to tell you um, how, I mean, I feel privileged to be doing these. I, I feel like um, it's a, actually a gift to me. And part of it is that I'm not really good in a crowd and being able to talk to you and then seeing some of you one-on-one uh, -on -one is so fabulous for me. And because I've been doing this um, quite a while, um, it's it's been... A privilege let me just say it's been a privilege and so this gal you know I haven't asked everybody if I could say your name and stuff but this gal sent me a sewing machine cover and let me just I'm taking it off my sewing machine it's a camper it's a camper a beehive camper. It has a banner, it has windows, it has grass, and it has the wheels. Now I remember when this pattern came out, it was kind of beyond my, um, it was too much like clothes and I didn't think I, I would be that successful at it. Let me just say that. So to get this is unbelievable. I mean, you know, naturally, I'm at the shop, and uh, Janine has been waiting for me to show up to pick up my mail, and so she's like, you know, we open mail at the shop, and she was like, oh, my gosh, we were both like, uh, we had to have a tissue because we were both like overwhelmed by how beautiful the time that it took. It's unbelievable. And my sewing machine has never looked so beautiful. Now this same friend also years ago made me my, my bee purse. And I carry this bee purse with me. I love that it just kind of fits over. I carry this with me at the Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show every year. And I get stopped every time. People asking me, did you make that? No. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I hope that you are doing well 
and I absolutely not only like it, I love it. I love it. Yes. I'm going to just keep that note right with that. In addition, <laughs> um, <laughs> Colleen sent me a card, and uh, and she told me that on another um, Stitch blog, someone called me a word world class enabler. Me? Me? Oh, I don't know. I'm, 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 okay, okay. I got some enabling for you today. But she sent along a chart, as many of us do, where she bought two of the same chart. I have never done that. I, I don't even know how that happens. No, I've never done that. Um, but she said I could give it to one of you, and it is a brand new chart, The Rabbit and the Rose, designed by Brenda Gervais. Isn't that gorgeous? That is so pretty. So if you're interested in this giveaway, use the word rabbit. Use the word rabbit, and you know all the rules. I don't have to repeat them, do I? This piece of mail tickled me to no end because Audrey's gonna, uh, Audrey is gonna help me, I know. So this is from Marilyn. Lovely note. Lovely note. But included in it was my very first, and yes, it's my very first Marilyn Mill Hill kit. I have been avoiding them because I was afraid of that rabbit hole. And, but Audrey, Stitchy Witch 42, um, did a whole uh, video on Mill, how to do Mill Hill kits. Of course, since I have assisted her with her wool stitching, I expect that she will assist me with my Mill Hill kit. But look at this thing. Is this not hysterical? It's a gnome bee. A gnome, gnome bee. A bee gnome. That sounds like a real world. A bee gnome, gnome bee, gnome bee. Hmm. I can't wait to the, you know, I've never done beads. It's going to be fun. Thank you so much. And then the last little piece of mail is just adorable. Tina sent me a beautiful card. Hexies. I'm going to put this on my bee shelf. But she sent me a pack of greeting cards with a variety of themes. Be well. Card makers, that's a whole nother... Oh, this one cracks me up. Sending warm wishes. I love these greeting cards. Have a beautiful day. And each of these cards has um, is stamped from the beehive. This is so exciting. So exciting. Thank you so much. So are you ready? Are you ready for some enabling? Oh, I can hardly stand it because I need to just, I just want to lay on my, on my. Oh, 
so beautiful. So beautiful. So what did I do? Okay. I knew that I was going to have some new starts in May. So I had to figure out what those new starts are. But before I share that with you, when I arrived, apparently in my little shopping bag, uh, I had ordered a chart that I totally forgot I had ordered, and it came in, and it was waiting for me. And I absolutely love this. I know that I was enabled by someone else. This is, this has enabled all over it. Um, it's the Antique Scissors and Spools by Shakespeare's Peddler. Now that pillow is absolutely adorable. And it looks like it's part of a series. And this is by Kitten Stitcher. And there's birds. There's a pillow with, um, I'll show you on the back here. There's birds. There's teacups, baskets, and keys. But I had to have the scissors. Yeah, I had to have the scissors. Okay, back to new starts. I had went, I knew I was going to Acorns and Threads today. I just knew I was. And so I um, wanted to decide what new starts I was going to have in May. things out of the bag. I bought a pair of scissors because you can never have too many and since I got my new um, this new project bag it had a um, little scissor holder. I wanted scissors dedicated to that bag. I know. it's. Uh, don't ask me why it, the mind works this way. I have no explanation None whatsoever. But I decided that my new start was going to be with charts that I already had. So yesterday I sat down looking through my charts and figuring out what I wanted to start in May. And I realized that I had this sitting in my cabinet. There is nothing like a full kit. I mean, a kit where you have the, the, the box that you make it with. And so I had already previously purchased this by Brenda Gervais, When Flowers Bloom. And it says, the flower doesn't dream of the bee. It blossoms and the bee comes. Mm-hmm. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And I had all of the call for threads. And I had the box. Now Janine at Acorns and Threads sells the box with the pattern. So you can get this. I am starting it this month. But what I didn't have was the fabric. And so I couldn't, uh, you know, I couldn't decide what, it called for 40 count. But, you know, there's, and I could have waited for the exact 40 count sheep's straw linen by r and &R, but it would have been on order, and I might not get it in May, and I just, and as Janine reminded me, it's May mania. I've never done mania. I don't know. Uh, the whole concept of it is lost on me other than it's May and I need to start something. So I said, well, what can I, if you don't have 40, and I looked at all the 40 count, and I, I'm 
she knows me, Janine knows me, that I, I have a hard time with certain fabrics. And um, although the eye doctor says I don't have a detached retina happening, I went back. There is something weird in there, but he said I just have to come back every year. Okay, that was a, that was almost like one of those commercials about drugs. Blah, 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 and you might die. Right. Well, um, so with my eyesight, uh, there are certain fabrics that I know if it has too many slubs. Is that what they're called? Slugs? Starts with an S. You know, the bumpy things on fabric. If it has too many of those, or it's like unevenly woven, I might have a hard time with it. So I asked her, I said, is there an Ada? If I do Ada that's a 20 count, is that the same as a 40 count? And um, she said, I could do that. And she had some Ada 20 count ivory. And so I'm going to tea dye this because I do like I do like that that color, a little darker color. So I'm going to tea dye that this afternoon, and then I'm going to start that this month. So if you want to do that, acorns and threads. The other one that I'm going to be doing this month is also. You see, I am not the only enabler. I have been totally enabled. Uh, I'm being taken advantage of because of my weakness. And I, I think, I'm pretty sure that it's probably Lori or Lisa that are doing it. And this is Kindred Stitcher or Textilist. I'm just thinking because, oh, I know, okay, I know that it was Lori because I was at her house and she, I got to see these partly done. And I bought the pattern. <laughs> okay, let me back up. I was in Acorns and Threads previously and ran into Lisa and she had this pattern in her hand. Well, pretty much, you know, Pretty much anything she has I want. So I went over and picked it up too. But then when I was at her girlfriend Lori's house, she had some of these stitched and I just loved them. So I decided this was also going to be a May start. But it's really strange. So I pulled, I went through my threads and I started bundling them up with my little, my, my as the you flies. Did I say it right? Woo -hoo. Um, but I couldn't understand the pattern because the pattern had DMC listed by number, and then it had it by color. And I'd never seen that before because I've never seen DMC listed by color. And so I was discussing that with Janine and Linda, who was also shopping. I was trying to pronounce the color and I probably am not going to pronounce the color right again. But she knew exactly what color it was. Alizarian. Alizarian. It's DMC 22. I've never seen it given a color name. But I had to pick up the rest of the colors that I needed. Because they're basically every pin cushion in here uses about there's only like a handful of colors and so you can move from pin cushion to pin cushion and then I wanted to do uh, have a piece of fabric and have them all done on um, you know in the same because I'm gonna put them all in a bowl and Jean had just gotten in some vintage country mocha which is um, 
36 count, which is what this calls for. You know, I don't stray too much from what they call for unless Janine says it's okay. Yeah. 36 count. Vintage Country Mocha. So I'm going to start that. And I have all of the threads now. And because I knew that on one of these pin cushions in the bowl had to have this pin, I bought the pin. Yes. So that is my enabling. That is my enabling of you. That is, I'm passing on. I'm actually really, really nice because I am actually passing on the enabling. I'm not just keeping it for myself. You know, Lisa pass, uh, enabled me, and then I went to Lori's house and saw them, and so then I was enabled there, and I got the enabling, and now I'm passing on the enabling to you because that is how it goes. I did get a question about if I um, needed a certain Prairie School or Santa. And so this morning, before I left, I went through my whole stack of Prairie School or Santas. And between the cardstock ones and the revisited ones where they put four on a on a sheet, uh, I have now the full Prairie Schooler Santa. So start a Prairie Schooler, finish a Prairie, uh, finish a Prairie Schooler, start a Prairie Schooler. This last Santa that I made is going to be a special one because uh, there was a special Santa in in our lives, in my children's life, uh, or my grandchildren's life and in my sister's uh, children, and um, he passed away. Um, he passed away last year. And so his memorial is coming up this summer, and so I want to make his family a Prairie School or Santa Pillow. I, you know, I thought, ah, you know, people bring flowers, they bring food, but how many people actually bring a Prairie School or Santa pillow? <laughs> so I thought that was, and then I thought, well, that's kind of a neat idea just to keep in your head. Um, different charts render themselves to different special people in our lives. Okay, I'm kind of babbling on, so let's see what else. Okay, we have the we have the rabbit and the rose giveaway chart. So use rabbit. And then I have a $25 gift card that I'm giving away. And this is to Acorns and Threads. And if you're interested in this gift card, just use the word acorn. Acorn. It's a lovely shop, and and Janine works really hard on it, and it keeps evolving. And um, I hope you all get an opportunity to visit someday, if you don't live in the area, because there aren't too many left, um, and we're just so darn lucky. I mean, just so darn lucky to actually go in and have someone walk you around and say, I think this will be good, I don't think this will be good, and blah, 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 blah goes, and now I'm a cross-stitcher. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Enjoy the video following of a walk around the shop, and we'll see you next time. I surely do appreciate all of you, and... You can't know how very valuable you are in my life. Love you guys. Where I am. Let's go in and shop. Here I 
am picking up my mail. <laughs> Not even. I cannot even believe that. It's an RV for the beehive. Wow. <gasps> that is amazing.